morning class my name is mr okumba miller and the topic for today's class is computer virus contents of today's class computer virus types of computer virus sources and examples of computer virus symptoms of computer virus attack protection against computer virus computer antivirus software and their uses then questions and answers now let's start the class virus is an acronym for vital information resources under siege that is virus the word virus is an acronym and its full meaning is vital information resources on the siege now let's define Let's define a computer virus. The definition of a computer virus is as follows. It is a self-replicating piece of information, code, that can partially or fully attach itself to computer files or applications and cause havoc to the computer. That is, it is a self-replicating, it multiplies itself in a piece of computer code and it can partially or completely take over your system. You see it affecting your files or application and can cause serious damage to your computer. Now let's move forward. What are the types of computer viruses? We have one, boot sector virus. This replaces or implants itself in the boot sector of an area of the hard disk. This kind of virus can prevent hard disk from booting. File virus. The file virus infects the applications. The infected applications then spread the virus by infecting associated documents and other applications whenever they are opened or run. This is also called executable file virus. The third one is my macro virus. So a macro virus affects Microsoft Office applications such as Word and Excel. Another one is multi multipartite virus. The multipartite virus infects both files and boot sector. Next one is polymorphic virus. This changes codes whenever it passes to another machine. In theory, this virus should be more difficult for antivirus scanners to detect, but in practice, it's usually not that well written. The next one and final one for the sake of this class is called a stealth virus. I repeat, stealth virus. The stealth virus hides itself by making an infected file appear not infected. So it is a very dangerous virus and it is not usually recognizable because it hides its presence by making an infected file appear not infected. Now Let's examine sources and examples of computer virus attacks. 1. Removable media or drives. 2. Downloading internet files. Email attachments. Unpatched software and services. Poor administrator passwords. Then poor shared passwords. So on the right side of my screen, you can see different examples of computer viruses you have jerusalem you have cascade this killer you have michel langello you have stoned you have nyb you have anti exe you have unashamed you have one underscore half you have emperor you have anthrax you have tequila you have w97m melissa you have wm nice day you have w97m group you have melissa again you have slammer you have malware you have vienna you have I love you, you have CIH, you have copper. There are so many uh, viruses that are not even listed here. But here, yeah, this these are the sources of virus attacks. These are ways through which your system or your information system or your ICT device can be attacked by virus. So it is through removable uh, media or drives your USB. Uh, storage device for example when you plug it onto an infected system it can easily transmit uh, virus to your own computer or your or other devices 
and when you also download some you know internet um, files the likelihood of some of them being infected or infecting your device is very very high so all these listed are actually um, sources of um, getting virus virus or infecting your devices with virus now symptoms of computer virus attack so now what are the symptoms how do you know that your device or your computer has been infected or attacked by virus so one is a computer is infected when it displays any form of the following symptoms that is the computer begins to run slowly unusual messages and graphics appear on the screen for inexplic inexplicable reasons now for some reasons that you may not be able to explain some of the program and or data files either get corrupted or become difficult to locate music not associated with any of the current programs begins to play unknown files or subdirectories are created the sizes of total and free memory are changed unexpectedly and at times your computer can just be malfunctioning and be controlling itself so there are several symptoms but these are just a few symptoms that we have been able to put together for the sake of this class you can read more now protection against computer virus to protect a computer system from virus attacks during internet browsing or surfing, follow the preventive steps listed below. One, the best protection against attack is to avoid opening unexpected email attachment and downloads from unreliable sources. Secondly, scan internet files before downloading. Thirdly, install reliable antivirus scanning software and download its updates regularly. Now, computer antivirus software and their uses. Antivirus software or antivirus software, also known as anti malware, is a computer program used to prevent, detect, and remove malware. One, not not nothing antivirus software. Nothing antivirus software has direct part up with software firm Symantec, which spe specially deals in antivirus operations. Another one is McAfee. The McAfee antivirus software automatically checks the files for viruses. The next one is SmartCorp. This is the first and most complete antivirus software for the internet era developed in India by Soft Technologies. There are so many antivirus software, but for the sake of this class, we are just going to talk about these three. You can read more. Now, let's do a recap of what we have been talking about. Simply put, a computer virus is a program written specifically to infect and or alter other programs by attaching itself to documents, presentations, emails, CDs. Now, let's take this assignment. List 10 examples of computer viruses. List 5 computer antivirus software that you know. Then, write the full meaning of virus or the full form of virus. You know, like I said earlier, virus is an acronym. So, if you have any question, please send us an email via the email address provided. Thank you and see you at the next class.